many, many different countries and we've got some of the, the Canadian team boxers here who we had the privilege of watching and commentating on yesterday and, and we're really, really impressed by their performances. We've got Camille and Celeste with us here. Um, I mean, your performances were, were superb yesterday. Camille, first of all, when did you all arrive? Because it's some journey, it's a long yeah, way. Yeah, uh, we arrived Tuesday in the middle of the day, yeah. And so do you do, have you got jet lag? There's a big time difference. Have you felt rested? Have you felt good? Well, for my part, I know I slept on the plane coming here. So I got to, when I came here, I wasn't that too, that jet lagged. Uh, it was basically yesterday that I felt a bit jet lagged. <laughs> well, you didn't look it when you boxed. You boxed really well. Were you happy with your performance? Yes, I was very happy. Uh, all the things that we worked in the gym lately and over the past year was applied in, during the bout. So I was very, very very glad with my performance yeah uh, and Celeste you know again a fantastic performance yesterday uh, a real little rocket you kept going you kept going it was a, a joy to watch you and um, for you I mean how have you found you know coming this distance being in a, a different environment how's how's that been for you it's my first time in Europe so I had really? never traveled that far the first day was honestly horrible <laughs> I slept 14 hours straight <laughs> and after that, man, it was game on. From there, it was game on. Well, this is the thing that why it's really important to have these experiences, isn't it? Because remember my first tournaments abroad, not knowing what to do about food or what happens on the flight because you hold all that water and you've got to make weight. It's really, really difficult. I take it it's got better, though, after that horrible first day. Yes, it did. It did. <laughs> What have you learned from this experience, sort of, not just from the boxing, but being in Europe for the first time? Because sport allows us to visit lots of places if we're lucky. What's that been like for you? Just don't weigh in when you uh, get off of the plane, <laughs> because that's going to be a big disappointment. And don't, don't weigh in when you've retired either. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever do it. Um, so in terms of being here and being part of, I mean, you know, we've, we've not been able to box for a long time. How difficult was, was COVID for you? Um, it was hard mentally because you come from like a huge routine of, for my part, I was going to school also. So like going to school, going to boxing, having tournaments quite regularly uh, and having all of that cut off was pretty hard mentally. But after we found a certain stability, uh, doing trainings outside and stuff like that. But, yeah. And so for you, how important is it to have tournaments like this? I mean, there's people from all different countries, different levels, ages. It's great to be part of this big women's boxing community. How does that feel to be part of? It's amazing. It's just seeing everyone from other countries, every different style. It's really, really nice. And you've, the Canadian team, have had some top quality boxers, of course, in the professional and in the amateurs. I mean, what, what are your goals in boxing? Uh, world Championship. And, yeah. <laughs> I would say same, but I would like to go pro on that one day. Yeah, yeah. And you've got a, a great, exciting style, both of you. You've got a great style uh, for the pros as well. Uh, we have been asking people because we know that food is something that we think about all the time when you're away and you can't have what you want. What's your favourite thing to eat after fights when you can have anything you want? Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Ice cream, <laughs> definitely. What flavour? Uh, I'm very basic vanilla. <laughs> vanilla ice cream. No, you can go now. Okay. You can. <laughs> Au revoir. Yeah. What about you? Cookie dough. Uh, I knew you'd like yeah, some of better, you yeah. see. I knew you absolutely would. Uh, so tell us about your next fight then. Uh, for today, um, I didn't look up the girl yet, so I don't know what to expect, but um, I'm quite excited. Do you like to know everything about the person you're boxing or nothing or in between? Um, I'm kind of like, I'll, even if I know something ahead, you never know what's going to happen during the fight, right? So. I kind of go in there with like a, I need to focus what I need to do today, what I've been working on, and then I get in and we'll see after the first round. Um, I don't know. All I know is she's going to be 54 kilos, two arms, two legs, and a head. I love it. That's a great way to view it. I used to want to know everything about my opponents, and it still didn't make a difference of whether what you can do on the day. It, it just depends. But listen, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you, and this is why tournaments like this are important, because we're all from different places, different experiences, and it's, it's the same because boxing brings us together, doesn't it? So uh, when are you leaving? Uh, Monday. Are we leaving Monday? <laughs> Monday. So. You've no idea. They're staying. The Swedish staying. now. They're We're staying. Playing. Swedish Canadians. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, we loved watching you. It was a real privilege. We can't wait to see you in your next fights. And we wish you the best of luck and obviously a safe trip home. And I'm glad you've had a, 
an, an okay in the end experience yeah. in your first visit to Europe. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. We're going to meet some uh, more teams, but uh, here's the Canadian, two members of the Canadian team. Make sure you watch them on the live stream because they're absolute class, so make sure you catch them later on.